Your reaction to today's news, you're saying it's a dark day for democracy. It's absolutely outrageous. Shutting down Parliament in order to force through an no-deal Brexit, which will do untold and lasting damage to the country against the wishes of MPs, is not democracy, it's dictatorship. And if MPs don't come together next week to stop Boris Johnson in his tracks, then I think today will go down in history as the day UK democracy died. Uh, this simply can't be allowed to happen. But supporters of the UK government are saying it's not about stopping a no-deal Brexit. Actually, we're only losing about four days of Parliament sitting, and Boris Johnson was saying there'll be ample time when Parliament returns. Well, everybody knows that is typical Boris Johnson nonsense. I listened to him this morning, and I, I've rarely heard a, a flimsier or more transparent cover story. You know, even the Speaker of the House of Commons is calling this an outrageous attack on democracy. Uh, everybody knows what this is about. It's about restricting any ability Parliament has to stop a no-deal Brexit in its tracks. I mean, Brexit, let's not forget, was all supposedly about returning control to the House of Commons. And now we have a Prime Minister who himself, of course, hasn't been elected by anybody other than a tiny number of Tory party members, is trying to shut down Parliament to do something to the UK that everybody uh, who is prepared to be honest about this knows is going to do real damage to our economy, our society and the prospects of uh, livelihoods and living standards for a long time to come. It is beyond outrageous and MPs have to come together and do something about this. There certainly should be uh, every effort made to get that primary legislation passed next week and the SNP will work with others to try and make sure that happens. Um, a vote of no confidence cannot be off the table. It must be very much on the table if that proves to be the best way of stopping this. And, and my message to Boris Johnson uh, on an election, if he's got the courage of his convictions, then bring an election on, but have polling day before the 31st of October so that people across the UK can have the opportunity to vote. And if he's not prepared to do that, then the question is, what exactly is he frightened of? He's acting like some kind of tin pot dictator. It frankly is not acceptable and if MPs don't stop it then it is no exaggeration, it is not hyperbole to say this is the day any semblance of UK parliamentary democracy absolutely dies. What kind of a position has the Queen been put in today at Balmoral? Well I, I think it is uh, you know, a very difficult position for the Queen to be in but you know, I do think it is um, rather uh, bizarre for those of us appalled by a, an abuse of democracy to be expecting um, the Queen to sort of step in and stop this. It's Parliament's job to stop this. You know, we're told the House of Commons, some of us have been quite cynical about this for a long time, is the mother of Parliaments, that the sovereignty of the House of Commons is all. Well, there has never been a more important moment probably in my entire lifetime, for the House of Commons to prove that. Uh, it's got a very narrow window of opportunity next week, and if it doesn't take it, then I think the implications for the UK, not just UK democracy, but probably for the UK uh, per se, are profound.